Hello you guys! So today I'm wanting to do a little vinyl crap with me. I have this super cute toddler shirt that I made. You can see that. It turned out super cute and this is with the vinyl iron on and I thought maybe I should do it with you guys because it turned out so good. And I want to show you guys the different stuff that you can do with the Miss Kate designs. It's super, super versatile. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch just to my computer monitor, just so that you can see um, how to get to Miss Kate Cuttables. So, you are going to go and search Miss Kate Cuttables, and it'll bring you to this page right here. And this is our home page. And just to, like, like glance over it. Um, there's a bunch of different themes that you can choose. The one I'm going to be doing, I've already picked out. Um, but you guys are welcome to do, like, any kind of design, which is super, super nice. Sorry, I just got stuck to my sticky board. Okay, so you go to the search bar here, and you search in the one that you're looking for. For me, I've picked out the fall truck, which is the one I'm wanting. And you're going to add it to your cart. And then, if that's the only thing you want, or if you want to keep shopping, you can keep shopping and it'll save it to your cart. Or you can go ahead and um, check out. For me, I've already downloaded it. So, I'm going to go ahead and already head to my Cricut. So, the nice thing about using a Cricut is that you're able to kind of edit it how you want. And with Miss Kate Cuttable files, you have like a few different options to have it like an SVG, um, a JPEG, a PNG, there's like a different stuff that you can choose. Um, for me, I've already done it, but I'll just go ahead and explain it. Um, I've already put the SVG file onto the canvas in Cricut, and I kind of took out what I wanted, what I didn't want. So it's pretty picked over, but um, it's just how I like it and I think it would look really good. So you guys can keep it exactly how you want. You can keep the whole SVG. Um, you can make it a PNG and just print it out like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I have my colors picked out and this is a shirt I'm going to be using. Super cute. So these two I'm going to be using for the truck and then this I'm going to be using for the pumpkins and this I'm going to be using for the little haystack in the back of the truck. So it's super nice because you can use whatever vinyls, you can change the colors, you can do seriously like whatever you want. It's super nice. So you're going to go ahead and take your first piece. I'm going to start with the haystack. You guys can start whatever one with you want. This is just the first one I grabbed. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Okay, so the important thing to remember is you want to put the shiny side down. I like to use this little tool. Makes it nice and flat. And then when you go into Cricut, there's a little option in it to mirror the image. So you're going to want to do that because you're putting on the vinyl upside down. So that when you iron it onto the shirt, it shows up the right way. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and put it into the machine. And let it do its thing. Okay, so now it's done. We're going to go ahead and take this off. Move that out of the way. Now you're going to take your little tool. I really like to use this one. It has like a little curved edge at the end. So, let's see, you're going to try and kind of lift it up from the end. And usually it'll peel off. Sometimes it's a little bit tougher, but make sure you're going nice and slow so you don't rip anything.
And there's going to be little spots in the middle that are going to need some picking at. So we'll take this and we'll go ahead and peel it off. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to take this little one. And this is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to go ahead and move to this one because it has a smaller edge on it, if you can see that. to see but that's what that looks like so we're gonna go ahead and just put this one to the side grab our next one which I'm thinking I'm gonna do my pumpkins click on that make sure that you mirror it it's on there and if we're using different material you're gonna need to change that also in the base material settings for this one I'm gonna be doing glitter vinyl so we'll go ahead and do that glitter iron on I mean and make sure our mirror is on and same thing you want to put it on upside down not spoil vinyl and it's a little it's a smaller image so you don't have to cut out a lot I'd say about this much so go ahead and put that on upside down and make sure it's on there really good so the machine doesn't get caught on it anywhere. Because that does happen. Trust me, I know that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put it in the machine. And it's totally up to you guys what you do. Um, for me, I really like keeping it on the mat because it gives it that stickiness. Like you saw in the last one, I took it off and it kind of was hard to keep it down. Um, wait. I don't know. But there's a difference. Because um, the mat is stickier, so it's going to go ahead and keep it there. But we'll go ahead and lift it up. I'm going to go ahead and use the same tool that I did before. And just start lifting up that glitter. And usually once I get it up enough, I like to just use my hands. Okay. And if you can see, I didn't put enough on there because I wasn't using my eyes. So we only got two pumpkins. Or you can do it again and, you know, make as many pumpkins as you want. For me, personally, I'm fine with two pumpkins. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Take our pumpkins. Let's see our pumpkins right there. So cute. Okay. Now we are going to do... The top part of our truck. Okay. Same thing. Remember to put it upside down. Same thing. Just flatten it out. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put it in the machine. And before you put it on, make sure you change your base material. For me, I did the glitter one before, so it's already saved as that. So we're going to go ahead and push it in. Okay, so while that's cutting, I kind of want to go over the different um, varieties that you can use. For putting on vinyl on shirts. Um, I've kind of like messed around and experimented with a few things. Um, especially with doing like a few different layers on top of the vinyl when you're ironing it on. Um, I found that it works. I'm sure some of you have had different experiences. But from what I've done already, um, it does seem to work. And that's what I'm going to be doing for this one as well. Um, for some previous ones... If I find an SVG file that I like, 
and I, if you don't have like the right printer or you can't, don't have access to printing it or don't have the right colors, you can choose the vinyl you want and you can turn it into just a silhouette by saving it into um, the canvas and making it the PNG file. And that will turn it into the silhouette so you can just go around it and it'll cut like around it. And you're able to kind of um, take out what you want, what you don't want. Um, so yeah, so there's that. We'll go ahead and take this out. Remember to go nice and slow. I don't like to get all of it because I don't want it to get caught on anything. Go ahead and take your handy dandy tool. Go ahead and do this curved one again. And you're just going to take out this little window. Perfect. Super simple. Super easy. That one wasn't too bad. Okay. So there's that. So then we got this side as well. We'll put that one away with the other ones. We'll go ahead and take our last one get that one ready and this one is the body of the car so it's gonna be a little bit bigger Oops. oh I cannot keep anything on that chair okay so put it on make sure you put the shiny side down Perfect. I'm gonna put this on. Make sure it's on there real good so it doesn't get caught in the machine. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Put this under. I'm gonna put it in. Take your handy dandy tool, start peeling. Definitely overestimated how much it needed to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm just going to save it for like another project. Get that out of the way. Okay, and it'll we'll make it easier to peel. There we go. Oh, so dear. Okay, got that. And go ahead and look for stuff. And it just looks like it's just going to be this one and this one. Okay. Yay! This. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on this process. I'm going to show you guys a way that you can figure out like a good setting for your easy press. Um, this is what I'm going to be using. You can use an iron, um, but an easy press is kind of what I've been using. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that. So go ahead. We'll do same thing. You're going to go to Google. And I have mine pulled up. But if you just go to cricut.com slash heat guide, I believe that should bring it up. If not, it should bring up the leak at least. Well, the material that I'm going to be putting down first is going to be just a regular, regular everyday iron on. Okay, and then the base material, this is 100% cotton. There we go. And we are using the Cricut Easy Press. And click apply. And it'll tell you 
to set it to 315 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to leave it on for 30 seconds. You're going to preheat the shirt for 5 seconds before doing that. You're going to put light pressure, flip and press to the other side for 15 seconds. And then you're going to wait for it to cool. So I am going to go ahead and turn this on. And it said 315. And it'll tell you when it's ready. The C for the cricket is going to turn green. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that. We're going to go ahead and put this on. We'll take this first one. And we kind of want to get an idea of where to put it. So I'm thinking I want to put a bow right there. Maybe a little higher. Okay, so that's about where I want to put it. We're going to go ahead and put this on for about five seconds. Now I like to just count on my head. Take that off. And you can put it on warm or cool. Um, I like to put it on warm personally just so that I might feel like it, it adheres, adheres a little bit better. But that's definitely a personal decision. Okay. So this is where I'm wanting it. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our easy press. Put it right on top and click the C. And it will count down for 30 seconds. And put some pressure on it. Not too much, not too little. So it's pretty hot, so you're going to let it cool down for just a little bit. It does say to have a cool pill. So we're going to do that. So we'll leave that on just until it cools down, and we'll put on our other ones. So, it's nice and cooled off. We'll go ahead and peel it off. Just go slow. Yay! Okay, it is on there nice and good. Okay, we'll go ahead and take our second piece, which is this top part of the truck. Try and figure out where you want it aligned. Perfect. So, go ahead and get your easy press, put it right on top, and count down for 30 seconds. Okay, we'll lift that one up, and same thing, I like to just go over it a couple of times, really make sure it's on there. Okay, now that we've got the whole truck on there, I'm going to go ahead and flip it, and just do a press on the back for about 15 seconds. Got that off. Perfect. Okay, we'll go ahead and let it cool off. I would not recommend touching it. I'm a cosmetologist, so I've definitely gotten used to using hot tools. Um, even for me, it's pretty hot. So let it cool off for a little bit. Okay, so now that it's nice and cooled off, we're going to go ahead and slowly peel it off. Looks so good. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to take our haystack, figure out where you want to put it, take your easy press, put it on there, move it on for about 30 seconds. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. 
Perfect. It's on there. Now, take the pumpkins. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these because I don't want them in the same spot. So you can kind of put them wherever you'd like. I want to be careful not to heat up the other stuff as much just because I don't want to melt it because it's already been heated a ton. So we're going to go ahead put that on there. Leave it now that that's on there, make sure it's super on there. I'm just going to go ahead and flip it, just because I really want to make sure it's on there. And I'm not going to do it for too long, probably about five, seven seconds. Perfect. Okay, flip it back around. Let that cool off. Okay, so now that that's nice and cooled off, go ahead and take this one off. And take our next one. Running it about right there. Same thing. Probably put it about on the edge. Awesome. Okay, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Take this and just go over it a couple of times for about five to seven seconds. Awesome. Okay, and we are almost done. We're about to just let it cool off for now. And now you have the finished product. Okay. Just look how cute that is. There we go. Love it. I'm hoping to do some more of these in the future, so keep your eyes out. But for now, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe.